What's up ladies and gents and welcome to week 183 of our League of Legends top 5 plays. From insane 1v1 out plays to great teamwork clips, this episode has it all, so please sit back, relax, and enjoy. At our number 5 play, we have Todd and Chips on Lissandra with an epic turnaround play in the mid lane. Right off the bat, we see Lissandra is being attacked from every angle as the enemy team has collapsed on her for the 3 man gank. Gragas goes in, but she ults herself to avoid multiple skills and then she kites back towards her towers the friendly Shen ults her for the shield. She then uses barrier to further bait the enemy team as Evelyn and Shen come in for the counter gank, instantly picking up 2 kills thanks to the amazing bait and turn from Todd and friends. Coming in at 4th place, we have a hella manly play from Castrobia on Thresh to show up the enemy team's carries. With Baron at less than half health, he wastes no time and rushes in to contest it. He leads with a hook on Blitz into a flaying box, leaving the enemy Zed to fight Baron. He finishes off Blitz and then turns his focus to Baron as a well-timed auto attack steals it and then he instantly gets on Zed, CCing and slowing both players. He sidesteps collateral damage and then continues fighting it out with Graves, forcing Zed to come back but he lands a final hook to lock him up as the bug arrives to clean up shop. Our number 3 play takes us to bot lane with Master Lowman on Lucian with an incredible 1v1 out play. Lucian is a level behind but he has the early power from Brutalizer so he dashes in and starts to trade using his passive in between skills to lower the cooldown for his E. Graves is winning so he speeds away with heal towards the brush and Graves follows right behind him. He dashes out and Qs into a flash to dodge the ultimate and then a final E to avoid the buckshot and grab the kill. Let's check that out one more time before moving on to the number 2 spot. Coming in at second place, we have Atomic Symphony on Nami in a Diamond Elo game. This play starts out at the brink of battle as Red Team try their best to stay grouped. Nami lands her Q but decides to disengage back towards her carries to protect them against the enemy Fiora. Tristana blasts them away and then Hecarim tries to regroup but ends up going down leaving them with no tank. Nami ults and then we see a godlike triple bubble which gets chained into all three charges of Zerath's ultimate absolutely decimating them to turn this fight. Red Team end up cleaning up an extra kill in the mid lane, ending this play at a 4 for 1 exchange and putting them in a position to push mid right after. And for our number 1 pro play for this week, we have PM Tom Gladgen on Yasuo in a Diamond 1 ELO game. At the start, we see him get zoned away by Syndra as the rest of his team get cleaned up, leaving him way outnumbered. After Syndra misses Scatter the Week, he moves in, forcing the enemy team to come to Syndra's aid as she flashes over the wall and he ease to follow. He ults off his Q for the instant double and then he decides to dash to the wolves, turning to Steel Tempest as he kites back using the wolves again, but this time the tornado is ready so he turns for the triple. He ees to the wolves again and then Qs for the final charge, baiting the axe from Olaf so that he can turn with another tornado and secure the quad after brilliant kiting and Q management. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Rudolph kill you on Lee Sim with a clutch Baron steal while not even needing to go into Baron's pit. Thanks again to you fantastic people for supporting the show and as promised, here are the 5 winners of the $10 RP cards. Be sure to stay tuned to our channel for the rest of this week as we roll out with some brand new video series within the upcoming days as well as a second top 5 at the end of this week. Thanks again everyone for watching and I'll see you back here soon.